What's going on guys, Casual Savage here. I'm back with a video after two months. This video, I'm gonna be giving you a logo I created by mistake. That's correct. I was just playing around on Photoshop, ended up creating a logo. I'm like, I might as well give it away to you guys. Now to download it, just head over to the description. There's gonna be two links just in case one doesn't work. All you need to do is download it from one. There will also be the fonts I used in there as well. Now in the video, I'm gonna be showing you how to actually edit the logo so you can change all the colors, change all the text to suit it how you want it. Now, if you do want a tutorial step-by-step -step on how I created the logo, by all means, just let me know in the comments and I'll get that over for you. Now, in terms of future videos, am I gonna be making videos? I will be. If there's anything you wanna see, just let me know in the comments below. Just before we jump into the edit, be sure to go ahead and follow me on my Snapchat because that's where I'm most active. So first of all, I'm just going to move all these guidelines out of the way. I just put them on to make it look like I've done a lot of work, but to be honest, it was actually really simple. There we go. The only thing I'm going to keep is the center line here, and you'll see why when we edit the text. The first thing I'm going to be showing you, though, is how to edit the actual sides here. So I don't know what to call these. I'll just call them shapes. If you scroll down on the layers section, you'll notice there's one L and one right, or one R. But you get the idea. L is left, R is right. So if you select the drop down menu on L, you can see there's going to be three different uh, rounded rectangles here. They were originally rounded rectangles, but I changed them and they're just in the process of making them. So the order is the top one here is going to be for the bottom one here, as you can see. Then, of course, the middle one is obviously for the middle one. And then for the bottom is this one here at the top. So to edit the color, all you're going to do is select color overlay. And now this is where you can completely transform it. So I'm going to change all of this into a pinkish logo. Um, of course, you can pick any color you want to. So I'm going to pick this pink here. And now what I recommend you do when you get to this stage, if you just left click and get this number here, either write it down or just press control C on your keyboard, select OK, select OK. That's one changed. You then head over to color overlay on the middle one. Again, select the color. Now this time, because we already know the color code, we can press Control V or just type it in. Remember this one, we want to go a little bit darker, so we'll go to just about here. Again, this part, you can copy this code this time. Select OK, OK. Then you go back to color overlay for the bottom one here. Select the color and again, press Control V. And then we want to go a little bit darker, so we'll just go to here. Select OK, OK, and you're done for that side. So then you do the exact same to the right side. So it's a bit simpler here because you've already got the colors. So we're starting on the top one here. All you need to do, go to color overlay, use your color picker, select that top color, select okay, go to the middle one and use the color picker again. You get the idea for this. So the next thing from here, you probably wanna go ahead and change the color of the text. Now the text is gonna be here. The font I'm using, you will need to download because it's not a default one. It's called Evogria. Evogria, we'll just call it that. Of course, type in whatever you want to. Just going to center that up like this. Then to change a color, it's only on color overlay. So just double click that, choose a color. And of course, we're probably going to match it around with the pinks. So you can just pick a pink or a purple and see which one you like best. Now, the final thing you probably want to change is, of course, this circle color. So this is the ellipse at the top here, and this one is all done with the stroke. So it's currently set to a gradient of black to white. You can change this to any color you want to. So I'm gonna be changing it to a gray to a white instead. So we're gonna start up around here, and all we need to do is select the next one, go a little bit lighter than what we just done. Then the next one, go a little bit lighter again. And then the final one here, we can just put that full white. Now the last thing I done was the inner glow. You can see in the circle is like a blue glow. So just go to inner glow. You can come here and maybe change this to one of the purples, pinks. So then that's what you'll get. And it looks pretty cool like that as well. You can see it's a really, really easy thing to edit. It'll take you about five minutes. And of course, if you want to change your font, by all means do that. Now, of course, I've added this little background on myself uh, just for display purposes. It's at the bottom layer here. All you need to do is hide that and it'll go off. If you want to keep the layer for presentation, then change the inner glow again. As you can see, that's now what we've got. We just transform the logo into a different color, really simple and really quick. That's it for this video. Hopefully this logo will be useful to some people. And of course, hopefully you can improve on it as well. As mentioned, be sure to follow me on my Snapchat because that is where I am also most active daily.